Okay, so today's goal is to break out with a code. So if you notice over on the side of the room, we have lock boxes. So this is what your final code, you're gonna test it on the lock. Um, and as you can see, all contributors are gonna be rewarded today. So um, your contribution, you're gonna show it here. So this is a table group activity. You're gonna work as a team. So as a team- My name is Christina Bartel. I teach eighth grade math at Serrano Middle School. And I'm currently finishing up solving multi-step linear equations. Um, there will be a code that will unlock each one that will take you to the next puzzle. And again, at the end, you're gonna get that four digit code. Um, once your table has that and you show me your contribution, you'll come over and grab a lockbox. A digital lock. breakout is where students are using a Google form or sometimes a Google site and they're going through multiple activities. Usually they involve some sort of puzzle that the students have to solve in order to move on to the next segment of the activity. So the digital breakout act activity that Ms. Bartell have, had us do was we had to solve a bunch of equations and problems and we would find out the code in the end. Like, we would get the answers and then we would either have to like add them up together or organize them. It's important to be uh, creative with the practices that I'm giving students because at times they get tired and um, we'll get somewhat lazy with doing the work. So I try to come up with creative ways for them to practice that's gonna motivate them to do the problems. So for the first one, did you guys get seven or negative seven? seven. Positive seven. seven. Uh, negative seven. Hmm, most intriguing. Since they were dividing the problems up in their table groups, I thought that this activity was perfect for them to um, use error analysis on each other's papers. Yeah, because there, there isn't somewhere where it could become negative 7. 2x. It's negative 2x because negative it's plus two. Oh, positive. okay. Yeah. Thank you. The last step is for them to um, unlock the lockbox. So uh, students would get a code, and there's a notification on the Google form that's telling them that, yes, they've successfully completed the breakout, um, and to get a lockbox and unlock that for their reward. So I actually just bought these lock boxes uh, on Amazon and as well as the locks. The locks are actually just suitcase locks. I think that this adds the motivation to the activity because students aren't sure what's in the box. It's a secret. So they're very excited and curious um, about what they'll get once they unlock the code. So I'm just so excited because we finished, guys. I'm proud of us. Oh my god, I feel so fancy. <laughs> Usually I fill the boxes with um, just little things. I try not to make it too expensive. So pencils, they can always use a pencil, uh, erasers, um, usually some candy. They usually like that. And um, then I usually add in some passes. So some IXL passes um, where they can use that pass if they haven't successfully completed a homework assignment. In the box, there was a front line pass. There was also an IXL pass and candy and a pencil. I feel that students are more interested in getting to the reward. It's not really what it is. So they don't really care what's inside the box. I think that they would be excited with anything you put in the box. Uh, my table group didn't get to unlock the box. We were trying hard, but we weren't able to finish the um, fourth box. It was We were getting confused with the um, numbers and we couldn't get the correct answer. The hardest part for me, I think it was working together because I'm more of an independent person. So I think it was working together. If we had worked together more, then we probably would have unlocked the box. So this activity is real life. Uh, not all students get to unlock the box. Um, I try to make it and, you know, I try to give enough time to where as many students as possible can have the opportunity to unlock the box. But at a certain point, we finish the activity, and um, if they haven't gotten there, then they haven't gotten there. I do allow students to come in at a later date to unlock the box if they continue um, to work through the activity on their own. And I think that that motivates them because they want to get the practice done.